This is a Gizmo iPhone app review of a brand new app called Opera Mini. To my surprise, it actually got approved by the App Store by Apple. Um, you know, you would think that Apple would, uh, you know, not approve of this app because it kind of duplicates the core uh, functions on the iPhone, like the browser. So I threw my browser somewhere I don't even need it, and I replaced it with a. Uh, That's where I usually keep my browser. So I've never used it before. And uh, so it's going to be a first quick look. It tells you welcome, start browsing, type an address. Alright, so let's try out, uh, let's try out yahoo.com. Just something real quick and easy. Boom. That was real quick. This is actually, it looks like a mobile site. We're going to check out these buttons on the bottom. Looks like they have back, forward, refresh. This looks like a tab function really smooth interface so I'm gonna add a new tab and let's see what we got we'll do Twitter tap on Twitter Twitter flies open it already feels a lot faster I'm on Wi-Fi right now actually so I'm gonna take my Twitter name I'm gonna log into Twitter there we go I'm gonna save it yes thrown in and we got my Twitter account it's going real quick all the people all the little avatars are loaded on the bottom here it says two so let's open up my tab and I could go back to Yahoo if I want let's see how this works it's really weird all right I guess we just tap like a deck of cards so the cool thing about this is um it actually backs up your data as you move along so if I'm clicking through here, it's really smooth browser. It's not like the Safari one that gets all like, <laughs> you know, this one goes real nice and smooth. I can go through uh, different pages. I'm gonna click back and watch how instant it happens. Boom, boom, boom. No loading, no refreshing of the page. Um, that's really useful. You know, if you go somewhere and you wanna go back, um, I guess you can zoom in. How to zoom out? I guess it has a multi-touch. Really, like fluid. It's not as a. Uh, I guess it works really quick. It's really cool. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna read this. Bootlegging Pakistan style. Woo um, you see how quick pages load up? It's already done. And, uh, go here. Read this. Enlarge this image. Go through, let's go back, boom, 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 nice and simple. Zoom out, let's check out the settings, we can go through history, bookmark, we can save pages, um, I guess for offline usage, let's see, save, maybe that's to add as a bookmark. Help, we can go search a page, which is really handy mobile view we can turn off or on by default let's see any websites that we do like apple.com check this out Here we go to Apple's website loads incredibly fast again it's very fluid click down here whole new world of apps Another feature here, like say if we want to let's see, go down to you can see how images load here. They load in like a pixelated form and then they come up. Alright, let's say we want to buy an iPad. We could hold this button down and we get a little right click kind of thing. We're gonna open this up in a new tab. And our tab opens up, we go down here. Here's my iPad page still fresh and ready to read. I could go back again. Everything comes right back up. It also remembers your zooming, where you're positioned at when you go back. If you look down here, this is a crazy fast browser. Way better than uh, 
Safari. I'm sorry, Apple, but you guys got schooled on this app. You can check the weather right now. You can save pages. Say I want Apple's website again. I'm going to click on Apple. It'll take us to the website. This does the full screen option. If you look down here, the full screen option hides the little toolbar so you can move around. But you always have access to the back button. I'm going to put this back. Turn off full screen. We're gonna go down here. Move my tabs to Apple website. And then I'm going to save this page. Let's see, we'll put this as Apple Store done. Save. And we'll go back. So if you want to add or remove little icons, your little favorites kinda, um, you can just click tap. Um, you can either go through uh, your history of where you went. Um, let's say we want to add Apple website. Here you go, you're going to see the little icon appear. There you go, it gives us a little thumbnail of what Apple website looks like. Um, and then it's going to take us there. Pretty cool. If you want to go back, you just tap back and everything loads right away. If you want to remove something, you just hold it again. You could clear, you could edit it. Um, let's see what the edit button does. No, we can just change it around. So we got Apple here. If you wanted to move something, there's no option to really drag and drop things yet. But um, I'm sure with another update, they're going to come out with that. So let's just go back here and uh, let's try the New York Times again. Um, it's simple. It's a basic web browser. I know you can only do a certain amount of stuff on the iPhone. So, uh, as this loads, give it a second here, there we go, we're going to do a little comparison time and see how it works. This is all done, click on this article, page is done loading, let's go read something else. page loads up, it might seem like it's going slow, but it loads everything real quick once it clicks onto that page. So we're going to check out what, how fast the browser loads on uh, Safari. So here we go. This dark bar comes up. The image is taking a while. The page is still loading. The content is still being loaded. For the most part, the page is navigatable but it's still loading up sections. So we're going to click here. Finally, we can read this article. This is going to pop up. Now we're on Wi-Fi right now, so it's showing me the Wi-Fi test. not bad on Wi-Fi, but when you're on 3G or Edge, you know the browser sucks, especially when you really need it. So we're going to go back. What it does, it reloads the whole page again. Waste of time, you know. It goes back again. Page is loading something again. You know, things are still loading. It has to reload everything again. So I'm officially switching to Opera. Um, this browser is great. They've always been, uh, you know, a good company. Um, having their browser on the on the web on your computer, and look, I'm still flying through pages way faster than Safari was. Um, like I said, you have your history here. You can check out what you watched, uh, what you went through today. Older ones, um, you know, I just got it. You can clear your history. You know, if you're doing naughty stuff on the web, you can clear it with one tap. You don't have to be digging in through the settings like you do with Safari um, and the iPhone. Your saved pages. My page is here. Don't know exactly what a saved page is other than a, it's not a bookmark. I guess it takes a snapshot. So let's try to go offline and see what happens. So we're going into airplane mode. Wi-Fi is off. All signals off. 
and we're gonna check out how this works offline if you're on a plane. Okay, that's fine. Turn off airplane mode, we don't need that. So we're just gonna go to the start page and we're gonna click on to our saved pages. And there you go, we could, you know, if we had a blog or some kind of story or something we were reading on the web and uh, we got on a plane and we didn't have connection, you could kind of save the page. So that makes everything really convenient. So we're going to check out what a YouTube video looks like on the main page. So we're going to tap here. It'll take us to that. And apparently it's changing up the format of what the page looks like. This is where a YouTube video usually sits. I'm going to show you this in uh, Safari. So looks like they got a couple things to work out. Um, here we go. I'm going to tap this. See, you should see the video pop up just like that. So, this versus this is a little different looking. So, they gotta work out how YouTube videos appear on there. Maybe there's a setting you gotta change or what. But I can easily na navigate through, you know, basic HTML pages, flip through the Apple Store, go right back to my website, you know, that type of thing. So, check out Opera Mini for the iPhone browser and iPod Touch. It's free. It's worth downloading. Um, congrats to Opera for getting their app approved. I never thought it would happen. And uh, props to Apple for, you know, showing some balls and releasing something that's better than their browser. So, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, give me a shout out and subscribe to our videos. And that's all for now. So this is signing out. Check you later.